What's good, everybody? So, this video is going to be an unboxing video. And it's going to be about what's in this box made by none other. And then Cricut. And um, so, by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Um, please hit the like button. Comment, subscribe if this content is something that fits you. And then you want to see any future content that I put out. Make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you hit notification all so you are notified immediately when I upload a video and won't miss anything. Um, so moving on, what you're going to need for this is either a rotary blade or an exacto knife, scissors, whatever you need to get into the box. So, um, being that I only have two hands and I have to hold one and get in here I really it is kind of sturdy but I just want to be safe so safety is always first I repeat that safety is always first so I'm going to pause this video being that I don't have anything to prop you up on and I'm going to open up this box and I'll be right back Ta-da! this is what's inside this box it is the Cricut hat press I'm so excited to see how it is packaged and to see how well it works. Um, so let's get into this box, y'all. Okay, y'all, look at this. I must say the packaging outside is nice. And look at this. It's compatible with infusible ink. So that's another good thing. So if you want to sublimate using infusible ink or um, just a regular sublimation ink, you can do so. So that's good. You still get your quality prints. So um, I'm trying to see how to get in here with my one hand. Okay, so I need to cut that. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm going to put y'all down real quick. So when you're cutting something open, I always advise you to cut away from yourself. Never cut towards yourself. So look at that. So inside this box, y'all, look how well it's packaged. So this right here um, is your press. And it station and packed very well. Um, and then this is your base. So this goes in, inside of this. So when you're heating, this has been heated up. And when you're not using it, it rests in this. So moving over here to the other side of the box. Looks like we have here is a little, a little welcome pack. So, um, inside the welcome pack, yeah. inside of it, okay, let's get started. So, you know, it has your basic stuff that gets you started in your quick start manual. So, that's, that's good to know. But I feel like there's something up under this because why would be such a, a big space right here? Well, and then again, it might not be, you know. They just needed something to make up for the extra room in the box. But I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. It's our um, form. So this here, I don't know why I forgot about that. So this here is our form. So this is what we will place the hat around. Let me back up so you can get a good picture. So you see that? So this is what you will place the hat around and then press. So you'll see, I will do a video with this 
on show and we can find out how you know well it works so i'm excited i've seen this and i was really really excited in getting it and um for a really good price too so um yeah so i'm gonna put that back in here put it like this so that's what this is. And that's this is your quick start guide and instruction manual and stuff like that on top of it. So under it is your form. And then you got your base for your heat press. And then up top is your heat press. So y'all, um, I wasn't gonna keep you long. I just want to do a quick unboxing to get something out there. So y'all let y'all know that I'm still around. I just had to take a quick me time. Um, but yeah. So, stay tuned for the video of me uh, coming soon of me showing you uh, my version of, in my opinion, of how um, well this Cricut hat press works. Um, yeah, but definitely from from what I've seen so far, it looks like it, you know, is why. <laughs> but uh I don't know yet so I need to see for myself but um outside of that y'all thanks for stopping by stay tuned for the video because the video will be coming soon I will be posting one <clears throat> with this and um stay tuned for some more unboxing videos and um you know don't forget, don't forget to hit the like, comment, and share, subscribe, y'all. And um, to all the mothers out there, if you or you get this video on Mother's Day or you sit tonight or before then or after, have or whenever, happy Mother's Day. And um, stay tuned. Peace, y'all. Okay, so... One other cool th one other thing about this is it is a three prong plug, um, so you will need to make sure that you have a three prong outlet. Um, another thing, let's do let's cut it on for the first time. So this will be your power button and your temperature setting button. So let's make sure I don't have nothing, no plastic on it. Okay. So, let's power it on. For the first time, y'all powering on this Cricut hat press with me for the first time. So, it's blinking. Now, y'all, I didn't read no directions to the first. Oh, they do give you a little thing to test it out, too. A um, little vinyl star to test out. Maybe I might put the star on there. I might put this star on there. Now, um, so it's blinking. So let's find out what this blinking thing is. Okay. Let's flip this over to the English side. Where's the English side? Um... All right, so let me get to find the our side, the, our language, and I'll be back, y'all. Okay, y'all. So you see, this is blinking. So when I first plugged it up, um, you see, it wasn't. It, we we wasn't getting none of this. It was only this that was blinking, and that was simply because I needed to download the app first. So it has an app that is linked to this, and you will need to download the app. And inside the app, you will also pick your material that you're ironing on um, and what you're using, if it's glitter, um, so on and so forth. And then it's, it's even, it's so much, it's really cool, y'all. Because it even walks you through so you will know the steps. So those who are beginners, it is really good for them because it shows them a brief little tutorial 
so they'll know what to expect and what to do prior to them doing their press but I just had to sh jump in and show y'all another thing is it's in this mode here is in the app is called the preheat mode I, I have already preheated my surface so I just want to jump on and show y'all now I have my design here I'm going to put it here it even sends the settings to the hat press to let you know um, that it recommends um, that will be proper for whatever it is that you chose in the selections prior to getting to that point far as the material used in the canvas so um, I just had to share that information with y'all so I am going to uh, apply my design to the hat and I will be back okay so now this is what it looks like once it's re it has reached the settings um, that it recommends or that you have programmed for it to send but it is um, so this is the go now so I have affixed my template and now I am going to do my press and let's see um, this hat that I'm using is a hat that um, I am actually trying out to see if I can actually do this transfer on this type of material. Again, I don't know what type of material it is, but you won't know until you try. And that's what I'm doing. So, here we go. Now, we got to keep motion we have to move this you don't just set it on there and leave it so you have to keep moving it so i might have to just come back to y'all um once i do that okay okay so i have my hat on my form that's my form and i just put my hat on there one thing that i see that is good about it you can move it around if you want um one downside is that it doesn't stay in one it'll stay in one place if you just put it in the place that you want you know it's not it's nothing that's just gonna be permanent another cool thing about this is it does have a hand thing I didn't take the plastic off just simply because I don't want to take the plastic off but it does have a little hand thing to where you can hold it um, while pressing so I'm gonna take this out of the box and I'm gonna plug it up so we can do our first press and I have my image already that I'm gonna put on there. I'm gonna try sublimating. I mean, I know vinyl, um, it doesn't say for sure if this is polyester material, but I'm gonna give it a try anyways, okay? So, hold on. All right, y'all, so <laughs> it worked. Look at that. Hmm. Crafting girl magic, you hear me? So, um, one other thing that I find is very, very smart and a wonderful feature that they have applied and put into this machine is that after you have completed, you you know, you press the play button, which is considered the start button um, for your preheat. It counts down for that. And then when it's when it'll tell you to apply the um, design, which I had went way ahead of that and passed that. By the way, I do not own rights to that music that you hear. Um, that is just a commercial on TV. Uh, but anywho, so moving along, um, so the design it'll tell you when to put the design on there. So I put the design on there, and then you press. Press the start button again, and it counts down. So that's really cool. And then after that, it even tells you the wait, the the time that you should wait before you should wash it and everything. So they really went over the top with this, y'all. They went above and beyond with this little gadget, and it does the same thing as it would if you were to have an actual bigger press. But um, I must say, looks good, huh? I could have came down a little more, probably a little left it on there a little bit more, still a little bit ink left on there, but it did come out pretty good. And I'm very, very much pleased, and I'm looking forward to doing a 
plenty more projects with this little gadget here. Good seller, y'all. Go get it. I advise you to go get it. I recommend it. Um, it's the best thing going out there. Budget friendly, too. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So, it's the end of the video. But I had to come back on one more time and show y'all this is i highly recommend this it's um very affordable it comes with um everything you need it comes with the form it comes with your base it comes with your press it is it even comes with heat tape for you okay if you don't have any when you get this you, they even threw some of that in there for you so you could try it out excuse me y'all i'm a little tired you know but anywho so like i said it um you download the app you have to download the app in order to use this i repeat you have to download the app in order to use this because the app has to activate your device for you okay before you can even start but like i said um the app also um you tell the app what material that you're pressing and what type of material the canvas is and it will even give you the recommended settings and go as far as sending those settings to the press prior to you even pressing you hear me they went above and beyond with this they gave a challenge they they, they give them a run for the money with this one right here also the it um it gives you the it counts down for you for you to pre prepare for you to pre-treat your canvas and then you press play and it does the countdown for you while you're pressing for your final design so like i said and then on top of that y'all at the end once you're finished it tells you the recommended maintenance for your design okay do not wash for at least 24 hours and all this that and the third you know that comes along with that when um you're pressing materials so i just had to come in and add that in but like i said go get it go get it i recommend it y'all let me go get me some rest and i got some more videos for those who have been rocking with me, thank you. I appreciate it. Much love. And for those who are new, thank you. Stick around. Welcome. Good vibes only here in my corner, okay? Um, one more thing. Y'all stay up. Stay blessed. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. All don't forget to hit the all so you know when your girl drop another video. All right, y'all. Until then, until next time, stay blessed.